Every time I do one of these landscape photography vlogs here in the UK, everybody's like, Cornwall, Cornwall, you gotta go to Cornwall. I get it. I'm going to Cornwall. I had no idea Stonehenge was right here. No idea. Driving past Stonehenge. I honestly had no idea Stonehenge was here on the way. I was just kind of driving and in a little bit of a daze and I looked off to the right and there was like the giant stones and some people around it. And I was like, that's gotta be Stonehenge. And there was a sign for Stonehenge and I've never been to Stonehenge, obviously. So I don't have a ticket booked, but it's midweek and I think that I'll probably be able to get a ticket like on entrance. I think you have to pre-book usually. I couldn't drive by Stonehenge and not visit, but the weather's not great, so I'm not even gonna bother taking my camera. I'm just gonna take the video camera and check it out. Apparently there's like two options. You can take a bus or you can walk two kilometers. I've been kind of stuck in the car all morning and looking for a bit of exercise, so I'm gonna hike into Stonehenge. You guys ready for my in-depth appraisal of Stonehenge? I don't think I get it. I mean, it's impressive, it's cool to look at, and I get the history, I get the mystery, I get all that. But maybe it's because I've seen like the giant rock formations in places in Peru, like Machu Picchu and Sacsay Woman. It didn't blow me away. I don't think I get the hype. I don't get why there's four billion cars and tourists here. So um, I might not have been blown away by it, but it was still a must see. It was still cool to see. I'm still glad I stopped in and saw it. And photographers, maybe a little bit of a tip. If you wanna shoot Stonehenge, I don't think you need to pay. Right along the highway, there's a couple little roads that you can drive in, and behind the fence, I think you can get really cool shots with like a longer lens. And I think that would actually be a really epic place to shoot like the Milky Way over it at night. So a little bit of a photography tip if you're in the area. Now, I might not have understood Stonehenge, but I understand landscape photography, and I'm gonna to push towards Cornwall, or at least the North Shore of Devon right now, and hopefully find a cool place to shoot sunset. I made it to my photography destination for this evening. I don't know actually if I'm in Devon or Cornwall. I'm pretty close to the border. I was about to say that I'm kind of winging this, but I'm definitely not winging it. Over the past couple days, I've been sitting behind my computer, planning out locations and trying to figure things out. And for those of you that gave me suggestions on Twitter, thank you. They were so, so helpful. I planned tides. I planned light and weather. I've basically been planning for a whole day on this trip because I want to make the most of this basically it's two days I have here or at least two sunsets and two sunrises and I've come to my first location which is Heartland Key. Heartland Key is down there and it looks like an absolutely perfect place for landscape photography. This location is just pure landscape photography dream. There's so many cool angles and shots to be had here. I think the coolest angle is actually on the other side of the hotel here, and it kind of looks dangerous to get to. So I'm gonna wander around this side of the beach here, try to figure out some compositions. It's about an hour and a half until sunset, and hopefully in that time some light comes out because it probably looks pretty gray on the footage, but it's absolutely unreal. So hopefully we get some color in here pretty quick. So I think I found a location to shoot. You've got like these jagged rocks that lead straight into the sea. Work is a nice leading line to that other big rock there in the background. And I think this is gonna be a cool place to shoot. Now, you might remember in Iceland, 
I was shooting some stuff for SanDisk, and one of the things they're really proud of is their new micro SD cards, and I've got a couple in my bag, one in my GoPro, and more importantly, one in my drone. So, this part of the video is sponsored by SanDisk. Let's get the drone in the air here. I'm gonna film my thought process for what I'm trying to do here from up here because it might be hard to shoot a little bit down on the beach with all this gear. But I've got a six stop ND on. I'm also gonna take my 10 stop ND and put it in my pocket. And I've got a three stop hard grad ND on the top. And I guess let's get some shots and hopefully I can film it without getting soaking wet because I didn't bring extra shoes on this trip. I'm having some fun. Even though the light is horrendous and it really couldn't be any worse, I'm having some fun. I just love shooting these rugged coastlines with waves crashing into you. It kind of turns into a little bit of a sport and I love that. Now, on my photography workshop in Iceland, somebody asked me what the difference is between travel landscape photography and fine art landscape photography, or the difference between travel photography and fine art photography in general. And this is a great place to share the difference. Essentially, landscape photography in a travel photography sense is shooting a landscape image of a location with the intent of trying to get somebody to go to that destination. It might even have a person in the frame and the intention of that photo is to make it look beautiful and to make people want to travel to that location. Fine art landscape photography is kind of what I've been shooting here. The intent of fine art landscape photography is kind of to sell your photo as art rather than to sell the destination itself, you're selling the photo if that makes any sense. So a fine art landscape photo could really be taken absolutely anywhere in the world. And the shots you take might not say, this is England or this is Cornwall. The photo I took here, the photos I've been taking here, could really be anywhere in the world that has this sort of seascape. So that's the difference between fine art landscape photography and travel landscape photography. I hope that made sense to you guys. It looks like I'm not gonna get light but I'm gonna shoot this location to death. I'm gonna shoot it until like there's no light left in the sky and have fun with it because it's just such a cool location. I'm done shooting, that was just way too much fun. I had so much fun. Even though the light didn't pop, locations like this, you can really shoot like no matter what the light is. That was just such a good evening, such a good evening. Now, I'm gonna jump in my car and I'm actually gonna drive to my sunrise location for tomorrow, let's go. So I made it to my destination for the night, which is Bed Ruth and Steps. There are signs that say no overnight parking or camping, 
but it's off season and I, I'm going to risk it because I need to sleep somewhere tonight. I'm sleeping in the car tonight at location. Not because I can't afford a hotel room, but because I kind of feel like I want to bring things back to the basics. It's kind of been crazy how this past like year and a half has gone. A year and a half ago, I was living in a tent in Portugal. And a year ago, I spent three weeks in the northeast of the US sleeping in my car in Walmart parking lots. So it's been a lot of like splurging lately. I've been spoiled a lot lately at five star hotels and I kind of, yeah, I just wanted to bring things back to the basics on this trip. So I'm car sleeping and shooting because that's what I do. I sleep in cars and I take pictures. So um, I'm going to call it a night right now. It's been a fun day. And I just want to say thank you to SanDisk for sponsoring the past bunch of videos. That was absolutely phenomenal. It's because of support of brands like SanDisk that allow me to keep traveling and keep making videos like this for you guys and allow me the opportunity to sleep in hotels if I want to. But tonight I'm sleeping in the car. And I guess that's it for today. Tomorrow there'll be a full day shooting in Cornwall. I'm definitely in Cornwall now. Still not sure if I was in Devon or Cornwall earlier. But definitely in Cornwall now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Baby, don't you, don't you love